Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to European Ourselves 4 for the multiplayer Let's Play. I'm your host for the episode, Kelvin. Joining me is Marbozir, Flying MacGuffin, Shenner, and some guy we can't see. Hey, everyone. Hello. I'm watching you. No, you aren't. You uh -oh. can't see us. The mad <laughs> overlord is coming. Mwahaha! Over my millions of dead bodies. Yeah, that's kind of the point he's spinning. Yeah. Shall we? Yep. Let's. Play? Soon, soon me and Kelvin will be protectorates of Spain, and there's very little we can do about it. Alright. Speak uh, for yourself. He's actually closer to you. I'm not particularly scared of Spain. Well, knowing what's been happening to him, I'm not either. Yeah. With my legion of vassals, I would be impressed if he got enough troops over here to actually beat me. Dude, we got like tech one dudes. Yeah, but if you still outnumber them three to one, it ain't bad. Tell that to me earlier in the in the game. And plus, the second he touches me, I'll have the same tech level as him. Because I'll help reform my government. Unless he kills you first. Uh, I think you need to cost us Belie to do that. Well, minus two stability. I'm fairly certain that's in the rules. Alright, well, let's get back to building stuff. Uh, longhouse, irrigation, yeah, alright. Let's get started. We seriously need somebody on this. National decisions available. I will take it. Take it to the bank. Very good, we have 72 federal authority. Nobody challenges us. Oh, wow. Suppose the Maya. They can't actually join our federation. Interesting. Huh. And one of the Maya's. I don't have any diplomats to send off or people. How's this going anyway? 150, very good. The Mahican are being slowly annexed. Oh yeah, I should really do something. Nah, it's not worth my... Not that I can anymore, I used to be able to, but whatever. <laughs> not worth my time, or points. Much better to save up for this stuff. Gonna need, you know, raid warfare. Tribal, or trail networks. And, you know, all this stuff. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Alright, I'm just reading this stuff. It's always nice. Yeah. We are, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 out of 15. We're over 33% of the way to being able to reform our government. After that, Spain just has to be far enough ahead of us in order for us to westernize, and we already at the point. Even if I have to sacrifice myself, that's fine. I'll pass the tech up along. Uh, I really want to grab the Diplo guy, too. It's always so hard. Get out of here, natives. Get your ass kicked. It is dead. Okay. Hey, Mad. Speed three. I'm in the middle of a bad war right now. Yeah, yeah. Suck it up, Buttercup. How can it be a bad war? I lost two stability when my regency died. Or something weird like that. 
your, your regency, regency died. died. <laughs> yeah, some weird they they died. Something weird happened. Your entire regency council mysteriously died. <laughs> yeah, that's worth negative two stability. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Did your did Felipe die? Uh, yeah, the current person died. I went from zero stability to negative two somehow. Impressive. Yeah, that's new. Alright. So now that we got all these stuff, like I said, we're just basically going to have to play the waiting game. Uh, we're going to be moving and colonizing down the coast here to try and uh, lock Spain out. <laughs> well, I'm trying a colony. I don't know how well it's going to work, though. I'm losing money. I just finished my first one in Antigua. Well, the problem for you, Shen, is no matter where you go, it's all Arctic. And the base tax is crap. Yeah. These things are related. No kidding. <laughs> Laugh it up, rich boy. Wow, Shen's provinces are even worse than mine, the ones he can colonize. Yeah. At least mine have a base tax of three and four. We're about even on that. Yeah. Once the Mahicans are annexed, all will be well. Very well, in fact. Yeah, I right mean. now my income is plus 3.76 without a colony. That's amazing. Plus what? Uh, 3.77 now. Yeah, that's pretty good. With 18 units. Is that with Colony? N no, I, that oh, was just okay. with it finished. It's about one without it. You have 25 base tax. I have four base tax. <laughs> The total of my empire is 38 base tax, so. Uh, yeah, we'll grab raid warfare. My yeah. actual tax numbers are higher than the provinces because they built buildings, obviously. Yeah. But the colony I just finished was is 8 base. Good. We now have 8 out of 15. Ah, ah, ah. We're already halfway done. Our native ideas. Okay. Eh. I think I'd rather get the next native idea first. Because that'll be uh, minus 20% stability. Are there some natives that just don't move? Uh, like, the AI no, will no, eventually stop can't. moving. Like... The yeah. Tamuka over here haven't moved, but I think it's because they have a claim. I just completely whiffed on this. I was gonna try. I was trying to piece out Aragon, and I accidentally uh, pieced out Portugal. Excellent. So Excellent. no Azores. Yeah, no Azores. I just whiffed this so badly. It's okay, Mad. We forgive you. That just gives us a, a little bit longer to, you know, prepare. Yeah, but here's the thing. We need Western nations around here to reform our governments. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't have to wait for Mad. Portugal will show up. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah, they will. Portugal might not be as nice. But they're an AI. They're a lot easier to slaughter. True. Yeah, the best part is when Portugal's colony declares war on Portugal's protectorate, therefore declaring independence at the same time. Sounds fun. 
Yep. Our own little slice of feudalism. Alright, now where the hell was I? I just totally zoned out for a second. Buildings. We got irrigation. Now we need a longhouse. Niagara. So has anybody annexed any of their vassals yet? I'm at 55% on mine. I keep trying, but they just keep migrating. <laughs> well, I'm at 97.9 on Timuka. Or, uh, Pawantan. Excuse me. I keep Renate calling them by the province. Eh. Did you, did you get not have a statesman, Kelvin? No, I never did. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and the and, uh, Shens keep moving around. <laughs> I, I just imagine, like, Shen playing whack-a-mole. That's whack -a -mole essentially what it is. This is my fourth attempt. He's playing, yeah. he's playing whack-a-seal, because he's up in the Arctic. Whack-a-colonial seal. Or tribal seal. <laughs> the nice thing is, I am now making money. I kicked both my advisors, and uh, I'm up to 0 0.01 ducats a month. Oh, yeah. I'm about to block Congratulations, the Congratulations, Shen. We're proud of you. And now, I'll, uh, now, uh, the Pequot are my vassal. Yep. Told you that would happen. Yeah. So I'll have to try attempt two on attacking Portugal later. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. Maybe this time I'll have allies. Don't count on it. Excellent. More Mooney. Mooney must come in. Can't wait till we uh, get Mahikan's forces as well. Slowly we absorb our vassals. Uh, I will need that longhouse. Or not longhouse. Whatever the hell the thing is. Fortified house. Yeah, that thing. Fortified house will be important. Hmm. Trade efficiency. Hmm. What's our current trade efficiency? 1%. That's always nice. <laughs> My vessels were sitting there with two units of mercenaries. Yeah, it seems about right. Are you going to vassalize the creek? Eventually. I don't see any reason to do it right now. Especially since they're stronger than him. Yeah, well, sort of. With my vassals, I'm stronger than him. Well, he has this wonderful thing called manpower. Yeah, yeah. I've been slowly building my armies up, and uh, I don't have any manpower right now. Can natives suffer from peasant revolt, peasant wars? Yes. Yep. Ew. I wouldn't worry much about it. On the other hand, my force limits are now 31. Not bad. Well, I just got that I the idea that raises your uh, force limit. There's also oh, yeah. a building that raises it by plus 10. Yep, I have both. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and and, and know, five I provinces. Still, I still have the 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 building. My force limits are only 11 without the building. <laughs> so, I have a I have uh, 20 units and a colony and my income is 2.99. That's enough for a second colony. It is, but it'll go a lot slower. So, plus I don't want to kill the natives. You have pretty much the best base tax provinces out of any of us. Yeah. Base tax 8, that's crazy. Creek has uh, two base tax 8 provinces. I should have started as them. Yep. They also have a completely different idea set, so... Yeah, I like the, I like the Cherokee ones better. Um, and Dominica, directly to the south, south of Antigua, is also is base 7, so I'm going to get that one after I block off this. 
Just to make sure the Kree don't get anywhere. I might just want to kill these natives because there's only a hundred, a uh, thousand of them, and I'm just doing this to block off the creek. Yeah. Might not be a bad idea. I'm, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I see. There's now zero natives in the province. Time for another colony. Yep. You should have moved further south, Kelvin. Um, there's some pretty good base tax provinces a little bit more south of you. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to colonize my way south. Yeah, uh, north of where I am is colonial eastern America. And I'm expanding more into the uh, Caribbean, so yeah. I'm not going to be going up that way very far. I what what I really wanted to do was uh, get a province on the Atlantic, so that way I could start sending ships around. Yep. And uh, you know get trade ships eventually. That way I can go and steal all of Madigen's money. <laughs> or Marbazir's money. You know money. I have a lot of it. I mean Marbazir's uh money. Whatever I was trade. just worried about mm -hmm. economy stuff early. So. I don't have that much money. I have 40 gold in total right now. Uh... Right, well, the problem is your trade node is still in terra incognita, so... Yeah, but you collect automatically from your capital, I believe, even if you didn't discover it. Correct. Am I the only one who can actually see the trade node? Uh, we can see your trade node. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, the trade node that I'm actually in. Yeah, I see much. the arrows coming out of the trade node I'm in, so I think it's to the east. Yeah, I can see it coming out the south. So, I kind of know where it is, give or take. Let's see how much this costs with two colonies. But yeah, I'm just going to colonize everything that's south of the Arctic. That's my general colonial plan. Alright, well, permanent... Now I'm losing boost. money. Good work. How do you lose money with all these rich provinces? Because the colonial expenses go up... They go up... Uh, they are... Uh, which move is it? Are you colonizing like three at a time? Two. Yeah, it it it's double for the second one. Yeah, they're exponential. That's the word I was looking for. Show off. All right. Well, let's not do that one yet. Connecticut's rising up. What the hell do I care? Easy enough. Just drop that province. By the way, I know where the Micmac are. Ooh. Oh, you finally got up here? Yeah, I was hoping you weren't human, so that I could at least talk to them, but since you're human, that doesn't help me any. What? You yeah, can still you talk, talk to me? To him. He's human. <laughs> Why can't you talk to me? Uh, well, you're colonizing Connecticut at the moment, and that's yeah. not helping me any. If it was a full colony already, it'd be good. But on the colony thing, you can just click the little flag uh, thing underneath who owns the, the colony. Yeah, there's a the, you'll you'll see one of my flag on the colony somewhere. <laughs> oh, I know you're there. Yeah. Well, I'm saying you can click on that and actually like communicate. But he doesn't have a coastal province. Oh yeah, I guess. What do I need a coastal province for? And I do have two coastal provinces. They're just on the other coast. And 57, all right. So that's another three months. And our stability can go back up to zero. Hi, Spain. Hanging out in Kentucky. Hey, little Cherokee. <laughs> So, is, is the problem that your guys are stuck there? No, I can get them out. I'm, okay. I, I was trying a new thing, thinking that I might get somebody to give me uh, naval basing. 
And then if I have naval basing, I can start colonies. Now, why would Last any of us be dive, stupid yeah, enough to give you that? Well, that's why I'm like, oh, you're human, so that's no use. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And I block so, you from getting north, so... Uh -huh. Are we making a cut here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was it. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, everybody! See you next time! See you next Bye, time! Bye, everybody! The robot rules us. <laughs>